Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video and this week's video is going to be all about lighting. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on like my lighting kind of, especially on my Instagram. My good friend from college, Pache, hey girl, and then my coworker, Brittany. Hello as well, girl. Um, I believe they are trying to start their own channels and I've been getting a lot of questions about lighting and I was like why not do an informative video about lighting and kind of like some tips on lighting when you're first starting your channel. I did a video about YouTube video ideas and I feel like I really love that video. I'm like you know what I do love helping people so why not help you guys out. So if you like to see my tips on lighting when you're first starting your channel be sure to stay tuned and keep on watching. Yes. Let's jump right into this video because I have some tips here. I wrote them down, you know, so I can memorize them and have them, um, you know, memorized. So my tip number one when starting your channel when it comes to lighting, use natural daylight. Natural daylight is honestly going to be your best friend. I am using natural daylight right now as we're speaking. And as you can see, huh, your girl looks nice in natural daylight. Natural daylight is going to be your friend. And what my tip would be is when you film between the hours of 8 p.m. No, 8 a.m. Y'all, 8 a.m. And 2 p.m. is going to be your best lighting. I don't know what time it is right now. I believe it's like 1-ish right now. So you guys can kind of have an idea what your lighting will look like if it's around one and it depends um, where your light is. Also, you're going to want to make sure that the light is in front of you. Make sure the light is in front of you. You see how the light is like directly like in front of me. I'm like literally my window is like right here and the light is like in front of me so it can hit you. You don't want to be in front of the light. The light needs to be in front of you. Okay, and my tip number three, if you're not able to use natural daylight, you want to opt out and use a white light. So I'm gonna give an example of all the like lighting I'm talking about. Obviously this is gonna be the first example, natural daylight. And then you're gonna wanna do um, a white light. So a light that has like white, that does not have like a yellow like tint. And then a lot of questions people have I know about lighting is, What's the difference between artificial lighting, AKA studio lights and um, actual natural daylight? So the big difference of artificial lighting, I do have artificial lighting. I just chose not to film with it today because I want you guys to see that you honestly can still get a great video with natural daylight. You don't need the artificial lighting. You need to honestly work with what you have. So um, basically, it let, allows you to film at any time of day. So basically say like um, I worked um, from like 8 a.m. to like 2 p.m. Say like that was my work schedule or till like 5, 8 to 5. Most people work probably full time. So let's say I work 8 to 5 and I'm like, you know what? By then the sun's down. So what artificial lighting will allow you to do is it'll allow you to basically film at night and you'll have like mock kind of daylight in a sense. And then also if it also is beneficial because like if it's a if it's daylight and it's like gloomy outside, it'll help bring balance to your video where you won't it, it will take away the darkness that the gloominess could be um, attracting to your room. So like I said, you do want to work with what you have. I know lighting can be a little expensive at times, but if you can always use natural daylight. So I'm going to go ahead and get into an example of kind of like what I've been telling you guys. Um, and I will jump right back. So let me like mess the setup real quick so I can like let you guys actually see what I was talking about. Like why you should film with the light in front of you and not behind you. All right. All right, you guys, so here is an example of what I was talking about, how the light is behind me. And you see how I, you can't really see me really. You are mainly seeing the glare of this light. I literally look like a shadow and it's not even wanting to focus. So definitely do not do this. Do not do this. You're gonna wanna simply 
turn around and look how the quality just got better. That simple tip, just like that, just easy like that. And this is natural daylight, yes. All right, now I'm in the bathroom where it kind of has like the white light. My bathroom has like a really bright light, but you see how the light is like really bright and it's kind of echoey in here because like I said, I am in the bathroom, but the lighting is still white and it still applies the same rule. You do not want the light behind you. You want that light in front of you. See how the quality completely changes and the quality is very very clear and you can see me opposed to like if I'm like this you see the back of me you don't see you know you're just focused on shadows and it's like it's uh, it's not clear so yes clarity clearness <laughs> all right now I am in artificial lighting so I'm using studio lights so now you can see the difference between daylight using like a white light and using a studio light and the difference on how it lightens up your video. Again, I'm gonna turn around and show you um, how the light should be in front of you and not behind you. So here's me standing in front of the light. You guys see it? I closed the window so you won't get confused. But I'm standing directly in this light and I look dark. Like you cannot really see me. I look like a shadow, but you're gonna wanna turn around and let that light be in front of you and you don't be in front so of that light. So if you light. took anything from this video, hopefully you learned that let the light be in front of you and not behind you and always know where your light is. Always know that you want your light in front of you and not behind you no matter what type of video you're filming or what type of content. And let me know down in the comments below what type of content you're planning on filming on your channel if you're starting a new video. Um, wow, starting a new video. If you're starting a channel, let me know what kind of content you're planning on filming and I can kind of maybe help you a little further. And also if you have any more questions, reach me on Instagram. It's always at the end of my videos and be sure to hit that red button down below and subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know the next time I upload and film a video and I will see you all in the next one. Toodles.